Welcome back everybody. We're here to pull cards for May the 26th. I'm going to be pulling one overall collective energy card and then I'm going to be pulling one card for each sign. If you know which signs your houses have to do with, then um, you can actually get quite a bit of information from a little read like this. All right. So, overall energy is the Six of Air. I don't feel like I need to shuffle anymore, so we're going to jump right in without shuffling anymore. Six of Air just talks about um, the idea of moving away from some kind of drama or chaos into something that is more peaceful, more organized, that makes more sense. Okay, so moving away from something that's been holding us back or dragging us down, moving away from that into something much more productive. All right, so starting with Aries, 10 of air. These cards really um, are in the same neighborhood with each other with the six of air and the 10 of air. 10 of air talks about the idea of bringing something to an end that has had um, a long-term effect of tension or a debate. And so bringing this to an end and with the collective energy being moving away from something that's been dragging us back or holding us down, then that makes perfect sense with the Ten of Air. We're putting whatever that was, we're putting it to bed and moving forward. Okay, so that's what we've got for Aries. Next up for Gemini. No, excuse me, that's Gemini's card. This is for Taurus. Taurus, as you may be dealing with a Gemini with that coming out of my mouth right there, but this talks about some type of partnership, some type of collaboration, and the sense that I get from this, along with the collective energy here, is that you have a partnership or a collaboration that may have been um, dealing with some type of problems. So maybe you're in a business partnership and there's been uh, some kind of problems with that business where somebody's been coming after that business in some way. Or, um, you know, maybe you have a partnership that has been riddled with problems as far as a romantic partnership. Either way, this talks about a partnership with somebody um, and you're taking that partnership and moving together with the other people involved in the partnership to something that's less chaotic, less dramatic, to some kind of solution that is much more peaceful and happiness oriented. Okay, so that's what we have. Now looking at Gemini. Empress showing up in reverse. Uh, Gemini's, this basically is just telling me with the Empress in reverse and our collective energy of the Six of Air that you have a situation with somebody who um, is uh, more or less a codependent type of person. There's somebody who they are not sure anybody else can do anything the best. And so to make sure everything gets taken care of in a good way, this person kind of steps in and, you know, takes... Uh, picks up everybody's responsibilities and tries to work them and handle them, and in this case, especially yours. And so we see you uh, moving away from either that kind of relationship with this person, so maybe setting some boundaries with them, or um, just moving away from the relationship with this person at all. Uh, moving away from something that's actually holding you back or dragging you down. Not that they don't have good intentions, they do, uh, but the net result is not actually good. So this would be you're moving away from that type of situation into something that's more calm and more peaceful. Okay, so next up we're looking at Cancers. Queen of Water showing up in reverse. So Cancers with this collective energy, you're moving away from something that has been dramatic or chaotic and that is causing somebody to really throw a fit. My queen of water is somebody who she's put up with stuff for a long time and now she's kind of she's kind of built up all this anger and resentment about all the stuff that she's put up with and so um, where she hasn't really said anything so nobody knows there's a problem 
now that you are trying to be more healthy and you're trying to make some genuine progress in your life, we see her being not very happy about that. She's having a real emotional explosion. You know, you could actually be um, l deciding that you want to interact with this person less and she's not taking it very well. You know, that could be the thing that has been sort of you dragging you down or holding you back. This person may be the cause of your um, chaos or drama in your life. And keep in mind um, that when we have a court card show up, which is just a card for a queen, a king, a page, or a knight, I think in this case there's queens, kings, kings and messengers, when we have those cards show up, um, if they're female or if they're male, whatever the case may be, that doesn't necessarily indicate that the person we're dealing with is a female or a male. It just talks about the idea of a person um, who has a lot of the attributes um, that I talk about here, okay? Especially in a collective reading, but really for me in any kind of reading, okay? So, Queen of Water type personality, having a total fit because you're moving along and doing something productive with your life, Cancers. Next up, Leo. Ooh, another queen, Queen of Fire, also in reverse. Okay, so Leo's, when we've got a Queen of Fire in reverse, what's happening is um, there's some kind of creative block that you've been dealing with. There's been something that has made you feel restricted in being able to problem solve and think outside of the box. And with the Six of Air here coming up in the collective energy, you are moving away from whatever that limitation is. You're moving towards something that's going to allow you to be much more productive and away from whatever that limiting aspect is. Virgo. Messenger of water. Hmm, Virgo. Virgo, it just feels to me like um, there's somebody that is letting you know how much they care about you. They may be sincere. They may not be. I think you're moving away from this person. I think you're moving on from them. You know, this can be somebody that, you know, if you're in a romantic relationship with you, with them, you know, maybe they've cheated on you. Maybe they've cheated on you multiple times. Maybe they've just cheated on you once. Either way, they're saying, oh, but you're so important to me. I really love you so much. You're like, yep, uh, that's not enough. I got to get out of here. I need some loyalty too. Moving on to something that is uh, better, you know, whether it's just being alone and healing or whether there's you know, a person, but either way, moving away from the drama and the chaos into something good and moving away from this person that is now saying, you know, oh, I love you so much. Now, if this is more of a business partnership type thing, this can be a very similar scenario where somebody is saying to your face how important you are to them. And then at the same time, they're like entering negotiations with somebody else to do whatever it is that you do with them. So um, can be a very similar type situation. Either way, um, I think that you are moving away from this person, moving to something that has less chaos, less drama, um, just trying to find something peaceful and productive in your life instead of this. Okay, so who was that? That was Virgo. Next up, let's look at Libra. Eight of Earth. Eight of Earth with the Six of Air and the Collective. This can mean that you're taking some time off or this can mean that you are moving your place of work. You may be working in a different place and you may even be working long distance with the way that ship shows up here. It kind of reminds me of a Lenormand ship. You may be working, uh, doing some type of long distance work as well. Okay. Uh, that was Libra, right? Yep. Next up, let's look at Scorpio. The star. <laughs> the star with the six of air and the collective. For those of us who are Scorpios, this just means that we are hoping to be able to get things more calm, more peaceful in our lives. We're hoping to be able to get away from the chaos and the drama. <laughs> Interesting. 
Interesting. We know we need to. I'm hearing that about it too. Sagittarius. Seven of Earth. Sagittarius with the Seven of Earth plus the Six of Air here in the collective. What that's telling me is you have somebody who chronically does not pay you on time. Or if they pay you on time, maybe they don't pay you everything they're supposed to on time. And then there has to be, you know, this correction that you go back for. This is telling me that you're getting away from that situation where there's this, where there are these paycheck or pay issues. You're moving away from that. That's too much chaos and drama for you. You're moving to something that works more smoothly, that is more organized. Okay. Next up, let's look at Capricorn. World card in reverse. Capricorns, I think that you're realizing that something that you thought at one point was the ideal and was a perfectly um, appropriate goal for you, you're starting to realize or you are realizing that it's not exactly ideal. It's kind of close, but not exactly. You need to make some adjustments, some tweaks, some changes. And as you're realizing this, I think you're uh, also taking that action right now. You're moving away from this thing that is not ideal for you in search of and going towards something that is actually the real deal ideal. Okay. Next up we have Aquarius. Aquarius, four of water. This to me talks about pity parties. We've got this six of air showing up in the collective energy. Aquarius, I think you're moving away from any kind of pity party that you might have been allowing yourself to indulge in uh, because you're recognizing that all that does is brings more chaos, more drama. And so you're moving away from that to something that's going to be more peaceful, more productive, more happiness making. Something that makes it easier for you to manifest those things that you want. Now, Pisces. Ba -da -da -da. High Priestess showing up in reverse. This could be considered your card. I know some people do consider the High Priestess as your card. Really, I think we're talking more about an energy here today, not so much about yourself, but an energy that you're dealing with. And with the High Priestess in reverse, I think that you are really confused right now. And part of the reason that you're really confused has to do with some cycles that are changing in your life at the moment. And with that all going on, with the collective energy being the six of air, you're getting away from that confusion. You're doing whatever you can to understand what's actually happening to you so that you can move forward more productively, more healthily, I'm going to say, more healthfully, healthfully, with more health, <laughs> let's say it that way, um, and into a place that is, you know, less chaos, less drama, that things go more smoothly. So I think that um, you're really confused, like I said, about some kind of cycle in your life. You are doing some um, research, some education, so that you can figure out what's going on here, so that you can move forward in a more productive way. Good for you, good for you. All right, guys, that's what I've got for the day. Thank you so much for being here. Looking forward to doing live readings and live Reiki sessions uh, long distance with some of you later on today and the rest of you. I'll see you back on the next video. Peace out.